Hey there, Zeus Center Christian. Happy to be with you guys today and I was asked to share here for your chapel. But my name is Michael DeYoung from Sioux Center, Iowa. Um, Max DeYoung is my son. And uh, yeah, wishing you guys an amazing year at Sioux Center Christian. So was asked here to share on your topic on agents of restoration and being an agent who obeys. And on the chapter of Luke 19, 1 through 9, 1 through 10. And perfect chapter. I'm going to go through this and just read it to you and then share a story that relates to the scripture real quick. But here it is. It's about Jesus and Zacchaeus. So Jesus entered Jericho and made his way through the town. There was a man named Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector in the region, and he had become very rich. He tried to look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree beside the road. For Jesus was going to pass that way. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and he called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. So Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the people were displeased. He had gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half my wealth to the poor. Lord, and if I have cheated people on their taxes, I'll give them back four times as much. Jesus replied, Salvation has come to this home today, for this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. For the son came to seek those who are lost. So thinking about this story and how it relates to you guys, how it relates to me, and uh, the blessing of the story. And the neat thing about it, Jesus, you know, a couple things here. If you take a look at the passages, he came to Zacchaeus. Uh, at a time where Zacchaeus was far from him. But Zacchaeus believed and had heard the good news about Jesus, so he came to meet him. Well, what did Zacchaeus do? Is he climbed up into a place where he could see Jesus, and also so Jesus can see him. And on account of that, Jesus actually picked him out of the tree and said, I'm going to your house. And I believe that was because he saw Zacchaeus' heart. And it was a divine appointment for him to encounter Jesus, get right with him, believe in him, begin a relationship with him, and then ultimately it would lead to the restoration of uh, Zacchaeus. And that's what happened. So Zacchaeus, of course, went, met with Jesus, uh, you know, committed his life and made him the Lord of his life. And immediately things in his life began to change and be restored. So he said, hey, I'll give you, or he says, I'll give four times to anyone I've stole. And I think about this in my own life. And I think about, you know, I came to... Jesus at an older age, at 26 years old. I grew up with, I grew up uh, being taught about God up here, but I never knew him and I had a personal relationship with him. So I had a knowledge of him, but never knew I actually could sit down with him and talk to him, just like this, where I had a relationship, a living, breathing, active relationship with the Father in heaven who loves me. So at 26, I had a sister who had a relationship with Jesus, and she was always kind of uh, a little different than I was. She just loved the Lord, and she'd talk about her ongoing friendship with the Lord who guided her and led her. And uh, it was different. So when I came through a struggle in life, I called her and she goes, Mike, I think you're ready. And I said, ready for what? And she goes, you're ready for a relationship with Jesus. And at that point, she prayed for me. And I looked up that day and accepted Jesus in my heart in 2006, August of 2006. And from that day forward, everything in my life began to change. And things that I used to do wrong prior to that day, whether it was stealing or doing things I should be doing, um, I just quit doing. And shortly after, you know, some stuff was brought to my mind and a story uh, when I was getting in trouble prior to meeting Jesus, um, I took some money from my older brother. And I was probably in my low 20s and I took about $200 from him and I stole it. And after I came in a relationship with Jesus, he laid it on my heart to go to my brother, tell him what I did, and then actually pay him back the money I stole from him. Uh, so all my own doing, led by the Lord, I went to my brother, one of the hardest things I ever did, my older brother, 13 years older than me, and I said, Greg, I said, I stole money from you. Um, you know, it was like five years before that, but I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay it back, and I apologize, will you forgive me? And he just kind of looked at me, and he forgave me by the grace of God, and he took the money. And what happened at that time is restoration came in my life. My brother probably would have never known that I took that money, even if I didn't go tell him, but I knew and God knew. And he wanted me to be restored in the soul and he wanted me to be made right in him. So my actions 
that I did wrong were made right through the relationship with Jesus. So through that process, healing began in me, restoration, and it brought me into the fullness, attaining the fullness and walking the full measure of Christ where I can go out and reflect his glory because my soul has been restored by the action I did. So Zacchaeus, I think he had that same thing. He met Jesus and instantly it caused him to obey and do something that was very hard, give away money to those that he stole from, or that he maybe not stole from, but took too much from. So I don't know where it is you got in your life. If you've done something, if you've wronged someone, uh, whatever it is, maybe you don't know Jesus. I wanna say a prayer, and if, uh, if you've never received him, number one, you can start that relationship today, and number two, if there's an area in your life that needs restoration where you have wronged someone, we're just gonna pray for that to be brought to your mind, and then pray for you to take action to make it right. So that's going to be my prayer for you guys. So dear, dear God, I pray for uh, the children there at Sioux Center Christian School. And I just pray, God, for number one, if there's anyone out there that, that is ready to have an ongoing, true, real relationship with Jesus, that today is today. Today is the day that they open their heart, that they put their hand up and just receive him as Lord and Savior. And they say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to understand you. I want to walk with you. I want to commit my whole life to you all the days of my life. If that's you, he hears you. Number two, if there's anyone out there that has an area of restoration that needs to take place, someone they've wronged, I just pray, Lord, that you bring it to mind. I pray that they understand in their mind that area where they need restoration, where something happened, they took something, they wronged something. I pray in the name of Jesus that you... Uh, Give them clear instructions of obedience to go walk that out and restore relationships back unto you. So we pray that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So Sioux Center, boys, girls, teacher, staff, thank you for having me on. And I pray that uh, impacts you guys and I hope you have an amazing day. God bless.